Good morning all and welcome to another episode of Ocean to Outback. What are we doing this morning, baby? We are going home. We are going, honey. This is your very first uh, walk, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, you're looking forward to it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to be scared? Nah, nothing to be scared of, is there? Because you're going to be with me. Sorry? You're going to be with me. I am going to be with you. So, guys, uh, yes, my daughter is four years old. You would have seen her in quite a few videos around the place. Um, She has been hunting with me quite a few times before, but it's always been in the vehicle spotlighting of a night time. I haven't um, been walking with me. No, you haven't. So, um, guys, if you've got a son, daughter... Don't be afraid to get them involved in any aspect of your life. Get them involved. Open them up to our beautiful world that we have. Um, If you be on your own, you'll get eaten by a kangaroo or a pig. (laughs) Um... Don't be afraid to uh, introduce your son or daughter into hunting from a young age. Uh, ever since Lily was six weeks old, she's been involved in every aspect of my wife and I's life. Uh, fishing, hunting, for driving and camping. Now, she's grown up with this. She doesn't have nightmares. She, she knows. What happens when that rifle goes bang? We don't go near it. No, no, no. When that rifle goes bang, what happens to the animal? Died. Yeah, and then once it's dead, what do we do to it? Stab it. Oh, yeah, we do cut its neck. That's very good, yep. And then what do we do? Put it in our trailer. <laughs> we put it in our trailer, in our truck. We bring it back and we cut it up, don't we? Because what do we do with it? Um, we cut its belly. Yeah, and we? Where's the pouch? What, what do we do? We eat them, don't we? Nothing goes to so waste. So, what do we do? What what sort of animals do we hunt? Um, rabbits and pigs and dingoes and... Rabbits, pigs, dingoes. What's those big things with the horns, Daddy, and Poppy shoots? Um, deers. Deer and, and, and goats. Now... Everything that we hunt is classed as a feral or introduced animal or has some sort of impact on the farmer. Or um, a, a stag. A stag? What is a stag? A baby. Um, no, it's not a baby. What's a stag? Um, a big... It's a big, big male. It's a big daddy, daddy deer, isn't it? Yeah. Um, all right, guys, it, we are in Texas, in Queensland, right on the border. It is 5.30 in the morning, and it's currently 12 degrees. And when will it be man, morning? It's morning. When it's morning, oh, it'll be daylight in about 20 minutes. Are we going to come back in 20 minutes? No, no. We're going to start driving out. We're going to get to roundabouts where we want. We're going to get out and we're going to walk for about two hours. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. You looking forward to it? <laughs> and what's the main thing you have to do while we're out? Staying with you. And what are these for? Listening. Listen. Yeah, you have to listen to Daddy, hey? And no noise. No, that's very correct. No noise. All right, guys. We'll see you out there. All righty, guys. Uh... I actually carry my rifle out to the left hand side of me. As you can see, I've got the bolt back. There's nothing chambered. Lily's walking on my right side, so the barrel is pointed away from her at all times. Oh, well, well, if you press the button, it'll go on me. Oh, no, it won't, baby, because I haven't got a round up here, so it's safe. Bit of a tip, guys. Keep your son or daughter on the opposite side, taught your barrels pointing, and your action open at all times.
teaching the kids while you're out hunting uh, is very important as well. Now, uh, Lily's standing on a pad at the moment. As you can see, animals come through this pad in both directions and peel off. Uh, this particular pad is, by looks of things, is mainly used by ruse. No, I'm standing on sticks. You are standing on sticks. You can tell that by the drag marks and, and also your footprints. Yep, that's another little pad too, baby. And they're footprints. Yep, good girl. What kind of footprints are they? Kangaroos and wallabies. Yep, good What'd girl. What'd you find? Pig digging. Yep, that is a little bit of pig digging, darling. Very good eyes. So you tell me. And another one here. Yep. You tell me where the next pad is, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say anything. You tell me, you walk a bit forward, and you tell me where the next pad is. So, I've told you what to look for, and you look. Yeah, that's a footprint. Where's the pad? They're footprints. Very well done, darling. That's very good. This is a pad. You're very correct. Can I get it? Okay. No. See these two footprints here? Yeah. Are they different to all the rest? Yes. Yep. See how they're a lot darker than the others? That means the kangaroo has come through here very recently. Okay? So if... It might be like a bunny rabbit. No, it's not a bunny rabbit. It's, it's, only, it's a small, small kangaroo or a wallaby. Yeah. So, or a baby. If the footprints were like these ones here, yeah. that means they've probably come through a few hours ago. Because these are nice and dark, yeah. and you can see the moist soil underneath, that means they've only come through here a few minutes ago. That soil hasn't had a chance to dry. Okay? Uh, Good girl. Can I find another one? You certainly can find another one. Yep. yep. Good girl. That's another pad. Is there any fresh footprints? There, there is. That you're, you're, you're getting good, aren't you? Oh, you're gonna be my new hunting partner soon. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, guys, we are back from our uh, little walk. It is now 7:30. Been up for two hours, and I tell you, this little girl right here, I reckon she's gonna be my next hunting partner because <laughs> she was very, very quiet. Look, she was a bit loud on the footstep, but hey, very first time out, and she didn't talk. And what did we see? Two deer. We did see two deer. Did we shoot them? No. No. We don't shoot deer on this property. Bit of sustainable hunting. I'd rather uh, shoot them with the camera. <laughs> um, so we've got a bit bit of uh, footage to look at, hey? Yeah. I got to wait to like, go for a walk. You want to go for another walk, do you? No, I couldn't wait to go for another a walk. Yeah, it's pretty cool, hey? Yeah, it is. So, do you enjoy it? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's very good. You want to go again? Um, one day, yeah. Yeah. Guys, don't be afraid to take your kids out. Get them experiencing the world that we actually live in. Um, a lot of people wouldn't agree with what I do. It's my choice. I got brought up this way. And... I live a fantastic life. It's exploring the world that we live in. Well, uh, you want to do a cheers? Alrighty, guys. Cheers. Till next time. Cheers and good luck. Cheers and good luck.